The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is an advanced space observatory that was launched at the end of 2021. Currently orbiting about 1 million miles from Earth, it uses infrared light to study the cosmos. This unique capability allows JWST to detect subtle details that are not visible to the naked eye or with traditional terrestrial telescopes. JWST is a collaborative project managed by NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. It is shedding light on many cosmic mysteries and extending our view of the universe. One of the fascinating aspects JWST is uncovering is the structure of our universe, which is composed of vast voids separating large galaxy filaments. The term cosmic web is used by cosmologists to describe the interconnected filaments of gas and galaxies that make up the structure of the universe. It's not just a random assortment of objects, but a well-organized arrangement. Within this cosmic web, enormous voids exist, dividing the filaments. One of the most extensive filaments we've discovered is the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, which has a diameter of 2 billion light years. On the other hand, the largest void we know of is the Keenan Barger Chung KBC void, which contains our planet and the Milky Way galaxy. This organization gives the universe a somewhat frothy appearance when observed on a cosmic scale. However, when you zoom out far enough, this pattern seems to disappear and the universe appears as a more uniform collection of galaxies. Astronomers refer to this phenomenon as the end of greatness. A pressing question arises, how was this cosmic structure created? It turns out there are energy fluctuations in space itself, with tiny particle-antiparticle pairs continuously forming and annihilating each other in the early universe. This boiling of space was happening under normal circumstances, but the early universe expanded so rapidly that these pairs couldn't annihilate each other. As space expanded, these fluctuations increased, leading to variations in the density of the universe. These density variations are key to understanding how the cosmic web and the large-scale structure of the universe were formed. Differences in density across the universe are responsible for why matter tends to cluster together in some regions, but not in others. Matter is attracted to other matter through gravity, and this gravitational pull leads to the formation of structures in the universe. However, the overall structure of the cosmic web cannot be adequately explained by gravity alone. In the early universe, shortly after the Big Bang, it was filled with a primordial plasma. This plasma began to clump together as a result of processes that followed the inflationary epoch, which occurred approximately 10 minus 32 10 kara minus 32 10 minus 32 seconds after the Big Bang. The clumping of matter produced pressure waves that behave like sound waves, known as baryon acoustic oscillations. To put it simply, both ordinary matter and dark matter played a role in creating these pressure waves. However, the pressure had no effect on dark matter, which interacts only through gravity and remains stationary at the center of these pressure waves. Ordinary matter, on the other hand, was affected by this pressure, leading to a process called photon decoupling that eventually released this pressure. This release caused ordinary matter to be pushed out of the pressure waves due to the gravitational pull of dark matter, resulting in a bullseye-like pattern with matter concentrated in the center and forming a ring around it. Galaxies are typically located in the outer rings of these cosmic bullseyes. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers have made significant discoveries, including a group of old galaxies that may represent the oldest known strand of the cosmic web. The cosmic web is like an intricate spider web that connects galaxies across the universe, with vast stretches of empty space in between. This particular gas-filled tendril of the cosmic web spans more than 3 million light years and consists of 10 densely clustered galaxies. It is believed to be one of the earliest threads in the cosmic web, having formed just 830 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was still very young. This filament is anchored by a highly luminous celestial object featuring a quasar, a supermassive black hole at its core. The filament's extraordinary length and narrowness surprised scientists, as they were not expecting such a long and slender structure. This discovery provides valuable insights into the early development of the cosmic web and the structures that make up our universe.
The discovery of this cosmic tendril was initiated by scientists searching for early universe quasars with the aim of identifying 25 of them. This particular tendril, connected to a distant quasar, is one of the oldest filamentary structures ever found. The results, although not yet peer-reviewed, suggest that JWST is likely capable of detecting key indicators of both intelligent and non-intelligent life in Earth's atmosphere. The modified data quality was comparable to JWST's observations of the TRAPPIST, one star system, which has seven exoplanets orbiting a red dwarf star about 40 light years away. This implies that the telescope could potentially detect signs of life or advanced civilizations on exoplanets as far as 50 light years from Earth. The study is part of Project Eden, an international astronomical collaboration focused on identifying potentially habitable planets in close proximity to Earth. Currently, only about 20 exoplanets have been officially discovered within a 50 light year radius of Earth. However, experts predict that there may actually be as many as 4,000 exoplanets within the reach of the James Webb Space Telescope, based on the number of suspected stars in this region of space. This does not imply that life on other planets could be easily found by JWST. When interpreting biosignatures and technosignatures from other worlds, it can be difficult to do so without context regarding the habitable environment. For instance, while researchers may know the indicators to search for, these life signatures would not be as visible on an exoplanet with different environmental factors or possibly other life forms or technology. Meanwhile, the James Webb Space Telescope is intensifying the ongoing discussion about how quickly the cosmos is expanding. One of the largest and most contentious cosmological discussions of our day centers on an odd conundrum known by the catchy moniker Hubble Tension. This expression sums up the fact that, despite clearly observing stars and galaxies gradually moving away from us over time, scientists are unable to precisely pinpoint the rate at which the cosmos is expanding outward in all directions. Intriguingly, scientists discovered in the late 1990s that the rate of expansion is increasing, which may be partially attributed to the presence of dark energy. This leaves us with a significant gap in our knowledge of the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope has reportedly weighed in on the matter for the first time in an effort to unravel this mystery but the enigma remains unsolved. In fact, JWSD has made the situation more complex. Let's first discuss how we got here. What is wrong with the rate calculation? Essentially, finding the real value of the Hubble constant, a critical quantity in determining the rate of expansion of the universe, is the first step towards settling the Hubble tension. However, for some reason, reality does not seem to fit our theoretical expectations of the constant relative to most models. The value of the Hubble constant is estimated to be approximately 43 kilometers per second per megaparsec. For context, 1 megaparsec is equivalent to 1 million parsecs, or roughly 3,260,000 light years. Nevertheless, after examining galaxies and stars throughout the cosmos, some scientists determine the constant to be 44 kilometers per second per megaparsec, while others believe it to be as high as 46 kilometers per second per megaparsec depending on the measuring technique. Others have offered values that are in the middle of these two. This disparity could indicate that our instruments are not sophisticated enough or that the theoretical predictions were incorrect. In other words, is there something that the models currently guiding our understanding of the cosmos are missing? To formally attempt to find a solution, some well-known physicists even famously convened at the Kavli Institute for Theoretical Physics in California in 2019. Former KITP director and particle physicist David Gross put it this way, We wouldn't call it tension or a problem, but rather raises an interesting question. Ever since scientists have been hard at work figuring out what the best approaches are and how to figure out what might be happening, JWST is now playing a significant role in clarifying the situation by observing distant objects in the early universe, creating a deeper and more profound understanding of the universe's structure and composition. The telescope is pushing our limits and revealing more of the universe than ever before. The ongoing revelations from JWSD are poised to reshape our understanding of everything from the cosmic web and galaxy formation to the very nature of space-time itself. In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope is more than just a scientific instrument. 
It represents a major leap in our exploration of the universe. With its ability to see the cosmos in unprecedented detail and study the fundamental nature of space, JWST is opening new avenues of discovery and redefining our understanding of the universe. From mapping the cosmic web to investigating potential signs of life on exoplanets, the discoveries made by JWST will undoubtedly shape the future of astronomy for years to come. As we look to the stars, the insights provided by JWST will continue to inform and inspire generations of scientists, researchers, and dreamers.